Hello, my name is Nikolai Sutlov. I am a software engineer at ChristianSupport.org. Let me present to you a research on implementing decentralized virtual time in peer to peer collaborative learning environment for WebXR. Virtual learning environments contain a variety of physical devices and robots that are working quite well in single user mode but are very difficult in scaling into multi-user mode for working synchronously over the network. This study is an attempt to address this issue by using the Crockett software architecture and implementing the decentralized virtual time on top of it. Crockett is the software architecture and synchronization system that provides the implementation of virtual time. Introduction of the notion of virtual time into virtual environment allows multiple peers to run computations together within a single shared distributed environment with ease. It guarantees that all computations in the distributed environment will be identical for every peer. Thus, it is ideal for developing collaborative serverless apps. Crockett introduced a new collaboration protocol called T-Time or Virtual Time. Virtual Time is about looking at objects as a stream of messages that leads to deterministic computations on every connected node in a decentralized network. All computations are done on every node by themselves while interpreting an internal curve of messages which are not replicated to the network. But these curves are synchronized by external hybrid messages coming from the reflector, a tiny server in Crocky. For building the prototype of pure decentralized peer-to-peer -peer collaborative live programming environment for Ubixar, I used virtual world framework, which is open source implementation of Crockett architecture. While it is ideal for developing collaborative serverless apps, a tiny serverless server named Reflector, on which Crockett architecture heavily relies on, still prevents doing that today. While being very tiny or even being a micro servers, it remains to be a server. If a reflector server crashes and becomes unavailable, the clients lost any connection. Moreover, the reflector server is not only used for sending heartbeat messages, stamping, reflecting external messages, but is also used for holding a list of connected clients. It stores application snapshots, a list of foreign virtual world instances, and bootstrapping new client connections. A reflector server gets its time, or time now, just from a machine that hosts it. Time now contains a server's local time. This time now is used for making a timestamp for selected virtual world instance. And reflector stamps all messages that pass through it and sends them back to the clients by using WebSockets. But what if every peer could be able to function as a reflector without any dependence on any external server. That will guarantee a great scalability and the ability of a collaborative learning environment to every peer. Let me introduce a luminary that could identically replace the reflector server in crooked like architecture by implementing the notion of a centralized virtual time. Luminary is replacing a reflector server in the flavor of using offline first distributed data structure, for example, again, to be purely distributed storage system. That replacement allows, instead of reflecting messages with centralized crockets, time now, dependent on service machine time, to shine time on every connected node using UDS application, hypothetical amnesia machine, running on the centralized peer to peer web. The presented implementation of the decentralized virtual time in a collaborative virtual environment allows us to easily to experiment with augmented physical reality. Here is the description of a collaborative robot experiment, where we are showing how to build a collaborative robot scoop simulator just from robots for kids. A simulator transforms the original Rubik's Cube demo for the browser onto collaborative one. Multiple users can explore Rubik's Cubes collaboratively and send comments simultaneously. Learners can create a zoo of Rubik's Cube 
in virtual worlds. Collaborative Rubik's Cube is augmented to be the virtual robot that is backed by three physical devices. In our experiment we have used three Lego Boost bricks that are accessible for learners just at home. Virtual Rubik's Cube dispatches user commands for certain faces. It executes them sequentially on appropriate devices remotely. Even users that don't have a connected Lego Boost brick can execute commands remotely on other users' devices in the same virtual world collaboratively and synchronized with the decentralized virtual time. This video is demonstrating how physical Rubik's Cube, for example GoCube, that is connected to the web browser through Bluetooth, can control and force robots to repeat all its operations. In our research, we applied functional reactive streams inside Crockett application architecture that open and limited functionality for interconnecting physical world of devices with the virtual world in a uniquely collaborative way, which was not available before. Future work is connected with using end-to-end -end security, encryption and authorization libraries, which all is creating highly secure instance hardware storing through the history of messages for recording and replaying later, using peer-to-peer -peer identities. Here are the links on the source code of the decentralized virtual time and case study prototype. Thanks for watching.